Welcome to the Sitting Guild's International Spoken ESOL Teacher Development Workshop. This one has a focus on pronunciation. If we haven't met, my name is Vincent Smidovich and I'm a teacher, teacher trainer, assessor and um, workshop presenter. What I'd like to do now is briefly to introduce the focus on pronunciation and then hand over to you to carry out the workshop either alone or if you possibly can with colleagues it makes the interaction more fun and then I'll come in at the end and do a, a general conclusion with feedback. If you are following this workshop alone there is still an element of interaction because we have tasks for teachers for you to complete and once you've done so you can then check the feedback from trainers and teachers people with experience of preparing candidates for the tests at all levels. Um, pronunciation is obviously an essential part of success in the use of spoken language. It isn't always something that teachers pay as much attention to as they do to grammar and vocabulary. So what I'd like to do with this workshop is to show you not only why we need to focus on pronunciation, but also how we can do so. The Common European Framework of Reference is all about can-do. If you're familiar with the framework, you'll know that can-do is the whole philosophy. It's what learners can do with language. And the Sitting Guild's International ESOL and Spoken ESOL tests are mapped to the Common European Framework. They implement what is in this familiar document. What we'd like to do in this workshop, therefore, is to look at the relationship between the Sitting Guild's tests and the Common European Framework. would also like to explain the role that pronunciation plays in the assessment. How important a factor is it in the overall grading? It's also worth looking at what we mean by pronunciation. Is it just individual sounds or is there more to it than that? Um, we will look at some of the different aspects of pronunciation and also at some of the controversies about pronunciation. Not only what is the correct pronunciation of words and items, but how should teachers work specifically on pronunciation. Questions like reading aloud, should that be part of our teaching? The methodology that we will be putting forward is purely practical. You as a teacher decide what's the best method for your learners. We would advise communicative approach to language teaching, if only because that is what the framework embodies and that is therefore what the City and Guilds tests implement. Um, we will look at the use of the phonemic chart. Should teachers introduce the IPA into their teaching? Should we actually put a specific focus not just on developing phonology overall, but actually on working on the individual sounds and letting learners become familiar with the script. Most important, we will be looking at how we as teachers can actually, in practical terms, help learners to develop what is an essential, but often quite difficult skill. We will look at the role that first language interference inevitably plays um, how important is a regional or national accent? We'll be looking at all these features from the point of view of an assessor and also from the point of view of a teacher. You will find practical ideas. I don't claim that they're all mine. Um, I would like to thank my colleagues at Academic Development for giving me some of the best lessons to share with you. Pronunciation isn't something that I always focus on as a teacher. I'm aware of that. I don't always do enough work on it. Perhaps after this workshop I will be motivated to, a little bit, to do a little bit more and hope you will too. Uh, what happens next is if you click onto the workshop you can follow it in your own time and in your own way. You can do it all at once. You can do it in different sections. As I said alone or with partners. When you've finished please click on the conclusion feedback video and I'll come back to try and put everything together. Enjoy the workshop, hope you find it useful and um, 
See you later.